as you all know, I love Drupal and think it's a great system, but sometimes it can be a, a, a little bit pesky, pesky and hard because it's re really developer oriented and some things you think will work just won't work out of the box. And this is great for flexibility, but they sometimes make like, things difficult. Difficult. Drupal breadcrumbs is one of these things. Now, it's something that you think it'll if I incorporate this my theme by printing the breadcrumb variable, it'll make uh, it'll make um the user's life so much easier by providing them with a breadcrumb. But out of the box, Drupal has really kind of idiotic a uh, really kind of idiotic breadcrumb module so um today we're going to show you how to actually make it usable for the people that are going to be viewing your site so that breadcrumbs actually mean something to them um by using a little module now i should also mention that you can do this in the theme system in your template.php file by creating another breadcrumb variable but I'm I'm not a developer. I'm not knowledgeable enough enough to do that. And I think m most most themers, this is going to be the way that you're going to want to do it to get done what you need to get done. Now, uh, I should mention that I'll be learning how to do it the other way. But um, I think this is a great way to do it for now. And um, if you don't know or you don't want to know how to to the theme system. I just don't think it's um, as good to be doing it with a module like I'm going to show you because um, that that's that's kind of separating a part a part of the look, so it's not in the theme system because this module is display a display oriented module. It's not it's not a um, a content oriented module, so it's adding stuff into the database for the display which should really be done in the theme system but that's my rant over this is this is still a great way to do it so let's kind of look at the example that i've got set up here um as you can see i'm going to post on my site and you you guys will know that I, i'm fond of my power photo urls they're good for search engine optimization and stuff like that so we're going to base um, this thing on our Pathfoto URLs. If we look at where it is, it's in the article section, in the miscellaneous, and then and then there's the path um, to this node. Um, and the module we're going to use kind of bases itself off um, Pathfoto um, paths. Or, or, although there's not... There's not a great way to take take breadcrumbs directly from path path auto paths. Any any Drupal module developers out there um, who can write this write it because it's such a great thing for the Drupal community. It, it doesn't exist. I wish I could write it to help some people out, and I wish I could write it to help myself, but. Um, I, I can't, so we kind of have to use this kind of hackish solution, as I call it, for now because it doesn't automatically generate. You'll see what I mean by hackish solution kind of as we go along here and do this. But I think the results are nice and it's kind of a trade off that you, you're going to have to make for usability. And at the end of the day, the users are the most important thing. Um, so as you see, we're we're under the um, we're under a post here, and it's it's filed under the miscellaneous category. And this is just a taxonomy term, which obviously lists all the things that are filed under this taxonomy term. And if we go in, into our um, our article section. This is just a view that lists all the articles. Um, but as you'll notice, as we go into the articles, uh, the breadcrumb doesn't tell us where we are, and that's the idea of a breadcrumb. It just says homes, so we can go back home. This is an absolutely useless um, to a user, and it's 
a massive, massive eyesore. So if you're if you're going going to even think about using breadcrumbs, make sure you do something to make them actually actually usable. Whether that's changing something from the fume system or doing it this way, do not li leave the um, default. Um, so the default just says home. It doesn't tell us something like which we generated from Path also. It doesn't tell us that we cl clicked on the article section. It doesn't give us a link to go back to that. It doesn't give us a link to go back to the miscellaneous category. So it doesn't tell us where we've come from. And that's the idea of a breadcrumb. Let me show you when this is actually used well and and why you shouldn't make a sacrifice for kind of um the front end and why you should um, do what we're trying to do. If you go um into the administrative back of your website, this is where um this is where breadcrumbs really shine. If we go to um for example the views page here it it um takes a queue from the Drupal menu system and tells us that we've come from home administer we clicked on site building and now we're on the views page this is what we want breadcrumb to do but it doesn't generate it from our content at least it just says home so what some people will do in, in this situation is they will just use the little PHP logic to um, uh, say okay only display this to administrators because it's is useless to anyone else. Uh, I'd argue that you, uh, depending on what kind of site you're building, unless it's a really simple site, if it's got like of good URL hierarchies like websites should, then then it's 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 a, it's a really good idea to use breadcrumbs. And um, if that module which module which I was talking about which generates it off the path auto paths is ever written then then that'll that'll kind of really help this. Um so it's good for back end um, but not so good for front end. If we so what we're gonna kinda do is um if we go back from the URLs here we're gonna kind of take a cue from Path Auto to generate a a um similar thing to what is generating for the paths. Now, um, this is not going to jive with Path Auto. What we're literally going to do is copy and paste it from Path Auto. So if you're going to change this, you have to change it in, into places, which is really, really bad. That's another reason why I think it'd be great to have something like this that jive with Path Auto. Um, now, if we... The last thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna look at if we enter content management. We're gonna look at our taxonomy. It's just an article type, and it applies to story nodes. And if we look at the terms here, quick, these are the different terms that we can select on our um, on categories. So. If we click on one of those, it it goes to the, to the web page, but it, it should say home, home, and then tell us we've we've come from the miscellaneous page. Um. So that's kind of enough for me blobbing. There's there's a lot of kind of more technical ins and outs which I could talk about. Um. Uh, um. Um, in this video, I'm kind of making a serious call to action to um, to, to get that Path Auto um, um, breadcrumb module written. I'm going to learn the Drupal APIs just so I can build a module that um, does those Path Auto things because I think it's really good for the community. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna dive into the solution that we have today. After all that long kind of 
theory based stuff. What we're going to do is we're going to use a project called Custom Breadcrumbs. And this is a really nice module. It, it'll, it'll allow you to create module, create breadcrumbs based on um, your content as opposed to just in the administration section. Um, so there's a Drupal 5 and a Drupal 6 version. It lists a lot of its features there. Um, so we're going to kind of use it now. I've um, I've I've uploaded it to my server. So we're going to go to administer site building um, modules. I'm going to enable this module. Let's save that configuration. Um, and now, if we go CNR site building interface we've got custom breadcrumbs now what we're going to need to do is set up a breadcrumb for each content type I'm going to copy the token um, kind of URL structure um, from Path Auto um, and this is what I was saying about entering it in two places Th this is this is generally bad form in Drupal this is why it would be such a good idea to have this integrate with path auto or at least a module which depends on path auto to do this and i'm really really kind of energized to get writing this but uh, at the current time i just don't have the knowledge um so when i go back into our um now that we've got that we're gonna go Um, no, we do not want to install. Uninstall custom breadcrumbs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right back. Into our custom breadcrumbs, which is obviously in our site building. And you can create breadcrumbs on a node by node type basis. Because of all these things we're imported to story content types, we're going to create a new custom breadcrumb. I'm going to say the node type that we want this to. It's story. Now, something really cool about this is that you can um, say whether you want your breadcrumbs to. Um, display or not by testing a little bit PHP. So, for example, um, we could whether that returns true. So, we could do what I was talking about earlier. Um, load. So if that runs, it's only going to show for the super users, so we could use any kind of technology. We're going to have 
it is play for everyone in every circumstance. As I was talking about earlier, it's used for, for users, not just for the administrators. So we're going to leave that bit out. Um, uh, this is what we're going to do. Um, it tells us to have one thing on each line, so that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to grab our thing from Path Auto. Um, so that's what we get. We want to say um, the reason why I've hard coded this articles thing in there is um, we can't easily uh, just play a page, but everything that's story content I'm just going to be an article so this is um good for everything and this should work so when I override the menu path just just a good measure because Drupal has some weird menu path things. Uh we've saved that so now hopefully and this didn't work the last time we did it if we go into one of our pages yes that's right we get home articles miscellaneous and the name of the article so this is really really solid really really usable um, breadcrumb that that it makes sense to the user and they can click on any of these links so for example um, that d that didn't work out, but this is auto generated, so we c we should be able to go back to any of these things. Anyway, hope hope you enjoyed that and found it useful. Um, and yeah, that's quite a complex thing, but it's it's a, a really important thing that the the Drupal community hasn't really come up with a good solution for, but. As I understand it, that's kind of the dumb thing, and I can't, I can't find a good way to automatically generate it off her photo. So that's what I recommend for now. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you learned something. Happy tokens.